So what I do when people say, will you pray for me, You'll, and you will experience this if you come to me, in 100 times out of 100 times I always say, um, could I just get some of my team? <laughs> you know, because I sort of feel um, they might get some words when I don't. And I love working in a team. Why should I get all nine gifts of the Spirit? Uh, when I'm praying for someone, I mean, if there are four of us, we're much more likely to get them all between us and, and see the person enter into what they do. So uh, uh, God has for them. So practice getting words. I was praying for this old lady in a hospital once, and her son was a street sleeper that I'd had a lot to do with. He's a little bit strange. But I had a long, long history with, the, with, with this man. And he took me to see his aunt. And uh, she had had a stroke, and she looked as if she was dying. And he said, well, you've got to lead her to Jesus. She never heard about Jesus before. She's not used to foreigners. What do I say to her? Well, I put my hand on her. And then into my mind came this one word. Vegetables. So I, I said to my street sleeper friend, Miss, Mr. Lumba, I said, Lumba, vegetables? And he said, yes, she's been a Buddhist all her life. She's only ever eaten vegetables. So um, I put my hand on her and I said, um, the God who made heaven and earth is very pleased with you. He is very pleased you have tried your whole life to please him by eating vegetables. And he says that he will accept you, not because of the vegetables, but because he loves you very much and died for you. His name is Jesus. Will you believe in, in him? And she squeezed my hand and she died the next day. Good news! I mean, just vegetables. Instead of her having to have a long sermon, she doesn't understand. She understands vegetables.